What's going on everyone? You guys already know who it is. It's the boy. I just want to say before I even start this video, I freaking slammed a door on my hand and now my finger is like throbbing. So I don't know if I should go see a doctor or not, but I'll figure that out. This has nothing to do with you guys. I bring this negative energy into my life and I got it reflected onto my doctors and pediatricians. But the Samsung Galaxy Note 10 is obviously going to be released later on this year. And there's been a lot of rumors, a lot of different things about it just being released. And I've been covering the iPhones, especially the iPhone SE 2 very heavily. I did buy the Samsung Galaxy S10 and I'm stuck with it. So I figured, you know what? I might as well start talking about more Samsung leaks. I talked about them, the Galaxy S10 leaks quite a bit. The Galaxy S9 leaks I talked about for a minute too. I've owned every single Galaxy S series. You guys already know who. I don't need to show my credentials out to you guys. So here's the thing, okay? With the Samsung Galaxy Note 10, I made some renders, but really I'm gonna be honest, it's just a Samsung Galaxy S10 with the S Pen next to it. <laughs> I gotta be honest with you guys, right? So personally, I think there's going to be four units. So I think there's going to be like the regular Note. Then there's going to be the higher end, bigger size. No, usually we've only seen one released, but this time we're probably going to see four different ones. So those are the two ones right there. And then there's going to be two 5G versions as well. So pretty much the same variants, but in 5G formats. That's pretty much what I'm trying to get at and what I've been seeing. So really that's it for like the format of the way these things are going to be released. In terms of the insides though, I'm like 99%. I mean, it's going to have the hole punch display. There is no reason at all why it wouldn't have that. It pretty much has to. I don't see Samsung going away from that design because they just implemented it here. It would be like taking steps backwards if they just would release it with the Note 9 design, you know what I mean? And I'm not saying the Note 9 design is horrible, I like that design a lot, but it just makes more sense for Samsung to release it that way. And honestly, in my opinion, I think the Samsung Galaxy S10 looks a lot like the Samsung Galaxy Note 9. I think it looks more like the Note 9 than the S9, mostly because of the boxy shape and with the more rectangular size of it. So that's one thing. I mean, most likely the Samsung Galaxy Note 10 is going to have that hole punch display, obviously. There's going to be up to one terabyte of storage, so 1000 gigs. It's also going to have the memory card slot, which is going to be super sick. Now, this is where things kind of get interesting. People are saying that it's going to have 12 gigs of RAM. Now, that is a lot of RAM. I love having RAM in a device. Who doesn't? But I'm pretty sure, I mean, 12, I mean, I totally see it being like that. But I could see Samsung doing a thing where, like, the lower storage variant option has, like, 10 gigs of RAM. And then the higher-end variant has 12. I could see something like that. I do personally think that all 5G variants will have 12 gigs. But that's one thing. I mean, you kind of don't know till it happens. And Samsung has done that storage variant different size things before. So I totally see them doing it here as well now here's the interesting thing okay so like i said there's going to be two different variants most likely again these are all rumors and leaks there's going to be two different variants of samsung note 9s the standard versions the non 5g so the screen size for the smaller one is supposed to be anywhere from 6.2 inches to 6.4 inches and then the higher one is supposed to be around 6.7 inches and in my opinion i could totally see it being like this it's going to have the in display fingerprint sensor as well so that's going to be super awesome and the reason i think that is because of the current layout of the samsung Galaxy. Galaxy S10 as well as the Samsung Galaxy S10 Plus. I think people just want something that has a little bit more features inside of it and the Galaxy Note 10 with the S Pen and everything kind of bridges that gap a little bit and it's not only just me. I mean I read about a lot of these from different articles and this is pretty much the consensus I'm getting. I think these are pretty accurate. The bigger model will definitely have a bigger battery for sure but the smaller model the 6.2 to 6.4 inch model I also think that will have a bigger battery than the Samsung Galaxy S10 but a smaller battery than the Samsung Galaxy S10 Plus. That's kind of my assumption with it. It, but it's still going to be a bigger battery so i'm really not complaining it's supposed to be a bigger battery than the note 9 so i don't know how that's going to play out in here so we'll just kind of have to wait and see now potentially i don't know what advantage this would get and give to people who own the note 10 but the s pen this is something that i honestly don't know how to explain it but the s pen could potentially have a camera inside of it i mean like i don't know like when i say it out loud it really doesn't make much sense but maybe there's a need for it so that is one thing i mean that's awesome if you like it but for me i mean i don't really see who would use it but you know what? I'm not the demographic, I assume. So maybe there's somebody out there who wants it. So that's a theory that's not 100% in stone, but that is something that could happen. The release date should be somewhere in August. So that is definitely, you know, usually around with the Note 9, Note 8, all the other Note phones usually are released in like the fall area. So to kind of wrap things up, I kind of want to talk about the pricing. Okay. And so this is the first time we talked about the Galaxy Note 10. I kind of want to just bring up the pricing. Usually I don't do it in every video, but most likely I'm still going to be doing more videos depending on how this one goes on the Galaxy Note 10. So. Well, let me just start off with the last version's phone. So the Note 9 starting price tag was $1,000. Now you can easily get it for way less than that. 
but for using that same strategy, I'm pretty sure that the standard version of the Galaxy Note 10, the smaller one, will probably start at like $1,000, but the bigger one will probably have around like a price tag of like $1,100 to $1,200. That still is a little bit more expensive than the Galaxy S10 Plus, so I could see Samsung doing something like that. Most likely it could be $1,050 for the smaller Note, and then $1,150 or $1,200 for the larger Note could be something like that. These are going to be very, very expensive phones, so we're just going to have to wait and see what happens. But that is pretty much just a little wrap-up of the Galaxy Note 10. Hopefully, some of these leaks come true. Some of them have to, obviously. The pricing is one thing that I'm not looking forward to. Just this increase of phone pricing is just insane. But I guess we're just going to have to wait and see. If new leaks comes, if new renders or whatever, I make them. I'll make more videos to kind of match up with them. But that is pretty much it. If you guys have any questions or anything, leave it down in the comment section below. Hit that like button. That'll mean so much. But definitely hit that subscribe button. Every single subscriber that we get really does count. So it'll mean so much if you guys could hit that. Also check out the other links down in the description as well. My Twitter, my Instagram, my second channel. All those links are linked down below. I'd really appreciate it if you guys could check it out but more importantly than everything else i love every single one of you guys hopefully i'll catch you guys in the next video peace out till then